Hello, and welcome to another episode of Friday Finishers. My name is Mara, this is Frenchie, and today I am here to talk with you about my Fiddleberry Poncho. This is a project that has been 53 days in the making, and I know that because I did count today. <laughs> I am so happy to finally finish it. And truly, the Fiddleberry Poncho has fulfilled and lived up to its name. The Fiddleberry Poncho was inspired by Thrissen Stitches, who does full spectrum yarns. And Thriss made this yarn. This is basically what I have left of the yarn that I purchased from her, which I'll tell you a little bit more about. And uh, I decided that I wanted to make something with this yarn. So um, several months ago, Thriss was dyeing some yarn on one of her lives, and um, the people in the end. Well, let me back up and say that she is known on her channel as the fiddler, the fiddler, because as she is dyeing yarn, she is fiddling with it. She's like a little bit more dye here and a little bit more dye there. And even though everybody's like, it's perfect. It looks great. Stop. She will just keep going. She'll just keep tinkering with it, if you will. And so she made this yarn using vibrant colors as you can tell and this is only part of them as you can see more here on the poncho behind me anyway somebody and i'm not exactly sure who um, suggested the name fiddleberry because the colors are inspired you know by berries like blueberries and blackberries and raspberries and uh, so she decided to name it Fiddleberry, and I was blessed and fortunate enough to be able to purchase this yarn from Thriss. It came to me in knitted blanks, which I will include a picture of right there or there, one of the two spots. Anyway, there's a picture of some of the yarn that I got from her. It came in a knitted blank. And then I used my yarn ball winder, which is right here next to me, to wind it up into the center pool cakes. And uh, when I finally got around to making my poncho, I, I first was thinking, what am I gonna make with it? I wanted to design my own project and I had given consideration to making a shawl or a poncho. And so I settled on a poncho and decided to call it the Fiddleberry Poncho. With that, I chose the puff stitch as my stitch of choice. And over the last several weeks, when I've been working on my project, either when I'm doing a live or another video, I have been calling it the bobble stitch. I've been saying I've been doing bobble stitches. As it turns out, I have not been doing bobble stitches. <laughs> I've been doing the puff stitch. And um, anyway, so if anybody decides that they want to get a copy of this pattern from me and to make it, one thing that you're gonna need to like is doing puff stitches because there are quite a few. And as you can see from the uh, pictures at the beginning of the video, uh, there are a lot of puff stitches. And I will kind of turn here and, you know, bring some a little bit closer to you. But there, there are quite a number. Now I didn't count exactly how many, but I'm guessing hundreds, couple hundreds. So over the course of the weeks, I fiddled with my shawl, I mean my poncho, and until it finally finished today. Now I kept my finishing pretty simple with just a simple single crochet border around the outside. And we're gonna see if maybe I fiddle with this pattern a little bit more before I distribute it for some people to give it a try. And please let me know if you would be interested to try making this shawl. Again, you're gonna need to <laughs> like making puff stitches. And if you do work on it pretty consistently, it will work up quickly for you. And um, in the end, um, I have not typed it up yet, but this is my pages of 
the pattern. I wrote it out as I went because I wanted to make sure that one, I didn't forget, and I kept track of all of the stitches and everything. But in the end, it turned out to be a, I think a six row repeat. Yes, six rounds that get repeated until you have the desired length poncho. So anyway, it can be worn with the point down or it can be worn um, like in a more square fashion as you could see in the, the pictures. And anyway, I hope you like my finished project. So when I started thinking about making this Friday finishers video, it occurred to me that I wanted to include something in there about fiddling. Now I know Thris will often joke about being called the fiddler, but I decided to write down some reasons why fiddling can be a positive. All right, and so I'm going to kind of read them off to you, and I hope that you will you will like it. Okay, so. The first um, reason why fiddling can be good is that by continuously tweaking and refining your project, you have the opportunity to make incremental improvements. Fiddling allows you to test different approaches, identify weaknesses, and enhance the overall quality of your work. Also, creativity and innovation. Fiddling encourages exploration and experimentation. It opens up the possibility of discovering new ideas, techniques, or solutions that you may not have considered initially. This process can spark innovation and lead to unexpected breakthroughs, such as the Fiddleberry Shawl. <laughs> I mean, the Fiddleberry Poncho. Attention to detail. When you fiddle with a project, you pay close attention to the finer details. This meticulousness can result in a more polished and refined outcome. By scrutinizing and fine-tuning your work, you have a better chance of achieving excellence. Adaptation to changing circumstances. Projects often face evolving circumstances such as shifting requirements or new information. Fiddling allows you to adapt and make necessary adjustments to ensure that your project remains relevant and effective in light of these changes. And finally, fiddling provides valuable learning experiences. Through trial and error, you gain insights, you acquire new skills, and you expand your knowledge. It's an opportunity to challenge yourself, to overcome obstacles, and to develop a deeper understanding of the subject matter such as crochet. Anyway, hopefully Thris nor I will get a bad rap for fiddling with our yarn. Anyway, I realize that this is a short video. I do thank you so much for tuning in and seeing my finished object. I hope that you will like and comment and subscribe and do all the things. Thanks so much for watching. As always, don't forget to fiddle to take care of yourself as well as others and to be kind.